Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, May 1st, 2020, and this is Mrs. Williams, your principal. So good morning to all our Taft wizards out there. Let's start our day by standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How'd we do, Archer? Pretty good? Nice. <laughs> He's taking his morning nap, as usual. All right, so today is the um, first day of May, and also the weather, I wanted to give you the weather report for today. So it is gonna be raining again today, boys and girls. I think it even says that we might have a thunderstorm, um, which I think I've told you already, I love thunderstorms. So get all of your schoolwork, finished up early today so you can find some time to do an indoor hobby. And I wanted to show you one of my hobbies in case you didn't know. Mrs. Williams likes to crochet. So I crochet with yarn and a crochet hook. And I like to make blankets and scarves. Um, and this is a mandala blanket that I'm making for one of my nieces in Florida. I'm making all those round blankets for all of my nieces, my great nieces actually. I have a, I have a very big family. So find some time today to get into a hobby that's not gaming. Try something different, building, drawing, something exciting like that, that uses your brain and your muscles. Um, so for the month of May, we're gonna study the word acceptance. And there's different meanings for the word acceptance. So we can accept people and we can accept situations. So my definition for acceptance for the month has to do with receiving other people into our group you know, when we're on the playground, we accept others um, to play with. Um, remember that we always are accepting people that are kind and gentle to us. You don't need to accept people that are mean or hurtful. Um, but that doesn't mean that you could be mean or hurtful back. Also, acceptance means being mindful that we're all different and that we need to understand those differences, right? We're not the same. We're very different. And we need to accept and understand those differences. And acceptance of things or situations means to tolerate a difficult or an unpleasant situation, like current situation that we're in now with distance learning. It's a difficult situation. It might even be unpleasant at times, but we are tolerating it and we're accepting it and we're moving forward with that. So I found a, co a quote by J.K. Rowling. She's the author who wrote um, Harry Potter and she has this quote. So listen, understanding is the first step to acceptance, and only with acceptance can there be recovery. So I hope that we understand each other and understand our situations so then we can accept them. So at this time, I'm gonna read M is for majestic, and we're up to letter S. So here's the picture. I'm gonna start right here. It would be hard to find a place where more varieties of plants and trees than Great Smoky National Park in North Carolina and Tennessee. The famous smoky haze over the mountains is created when the vapors given off by all the plant life mix with the moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. This land was the original home of the Cherokee who were forced to leave in 1832 in what has become known as the Trail of Tears. If you like big cactus, head to Saguara National Park. Saguaro National Park in Arizona. There you will see miles of Sonoran Desert filled with giant saguaro cacti that can grow up to 50 feet tall. Wow. Shenandoah National Park in Virginia is the home of the Blue Ridge Mountains, a range covered by lush hardwood forests and crisscrossed by many streams and waterfalls. And then here's the poem. S is for Great Smoky Mountains with a mist plain to see over a land once known as the home of the Cherokee. So it's nice. And in this picture here, you can see that great um, saguaro national park with the huge cacti that can grow 50 feet tall. And here is the Blue Ridge Mountain in the Shenandoah National Park, Virginia. Nice. So I have a few more jokes for you today, why not? So what do you call a tired dinosaur? A tired dinosaur, you call him a dinosnore. 
If Archer was a dinosaur, I would call him a dinosaur because he can snore really well. Why does Waldo wear stripes? You know the Where's Waldo books? So why does Waldo wear stripes? It's because he doesn't want to be spotted. He'd rather wear stripes than spots. Why did the kid eat his homework? So why did that student eat their homework? Because the teacher told them it was a piece of cake. So boys and girls, don't eat your homework. It might be a piece of cake. It might be easy, but don't eat it. So our national celebrations for today, May 1st is a big day. There's seven different days. So if you go to that website, you could see them all. But I just picked a couple of them. So today is May Day, and that was, um, we celebrate flowers in spring, which is kind of hard on a rainy day to celebrate flowers in, in um, spring. But feel free to make a flower crown or to give flowers to somebody or plant some flowers today. If you don't get to do it today, I suggest you do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful weather. And an English tradition, <clears throat> excuse me, an English tradition is to dance around a maypole with a ribbon and you make a beautiful maypole and also to crown a May queen and possibly even a May king. Now, for those of you that didn't know, my first teaching job 20 years ago, I taught in Hawaii. And Hawaii has a lot of, has a, a lot of variety of um, celebrations, but one of their celebrations is May Day. And we have a huge, in Hawaii, they have huge May Day celebrations at school. It was really beautiful. And we would crown a whole royal court with the May queen and the May king. Um, and it was usually the oldest class, which was sixth grade when I was there. It's also chocolate parfait day. Chocolate parfaits, um, parfait is a French word that means perfect. And it's usually a dessert that has layers of um, cream or ice cream or pudding, or if you want to be healthier, yogurt. Um, and you could put fruit or whatever kind of sweetness that you want in it. So feel free to have a parfait today. Parfaits have been around since 1894. That is a long time. So we have two patriotic celebrations today. One, May 1st is called Loyalty Day, and it first started in 1921 when it was called Americanization Day. And then in 1959, President Dwight Eisenhower declared it Loyalty Day, and it recognizes our American freedom and our loyalty to the United States of America and the United States of America's heritage. So Loyalty Day. And it's also Silver Star Service Banner Day. So this honors all the military members who had sacrifices and were wounded during battle or during combat. So we honor those wounded and their families today on Silver Star Service Day. And I thought this was cute. It's Mother Goose Day. The very first um, Mother Goose uh, fairy tale was written, they think, around 1695. And it was actually by a man named Charles Perrault. But Mother Goose is well known for fairy tales and nursery rhymes that you probably are learning as a child or your parents have learned as a child. So maybe get into some Mother Goose nursery rhymes today. And also, who knew, today is School Principals Day. So I hope that you boys and girls enjoy all of my messages every morning. Um, and I hope that it helps you get through the day. And I really enjoy doing them. I wish I could see you all more often. But in the meantime, you get to see me. Um, and remember to wear all dressed up with no place to go today. So I'm wearing my red because it's Friday and also keep sending me those pictures. I posted a few more last night on Instagram. So take a look at those and signing off from Archer. Mr. Snores a lot. You're not a dinosaur, but we can call you Dinosnor. He's Archer Snore. And Pip and Squeak. Right, Pip? And Squeak. Good boys. So boys and girls, happy Friday. Um, enjoy your day, even though it's going to be rainy. Remember, we accept things that we're in, even though they might be difficult or challenging. Get into a hobby today. Get all dressed up with no place to go. Maybe I'll keep this on while I crochet later after I get my work done. And then I will see you on Monday. Enjoy the beautiful weekend that we have and have a great one. Bye.